we're going to solve this problem with right angle trick. We know we can use it because it's a right triangle. We've got an angle and a side, so let's think about which trig relationship we're going to use. So we've got this mnemonic device, SOHCAHTOA. The SOH reminds us that the sine of an angle is O over H, opposite over hypotenuse. The CAH reminds us that the cosine of an angle is A over H. And the TOA reminds us that the tangent of an angle is O over A, opposite over adjacent. So let's go look at our triangle. Compared to 38 degrees, we've got two legs. The 22 is the far leg, or the opposite leg. And the C is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always the longest side, so when you get your answer, you know the answer has to be bigger than the 22. Well, we've got an O, we've got an H, so that tells us that we want the O over H ratio, which is sine. So the sine of my angle is O over H. Let's fill in what we know. The sine of 38 degrees, O is 22, H is C. Now we've got C in our denominator, and we want to get rid of that, so let's multiply both sides times C. So the C's cancel on the right side, and we've got C sine 38 degrees equals 22. We still want to get C by itself, so let's divide both sides by the sine of 38 degrees. And so now that cancels, and we have C is 22 divided by the sine of 38 degrees. Time to grab a calculator. You can use the trig chart to get the sine of 38 degrees, or you can use your calculator. Okay, let's make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. Sine of 30 degrees should be 0.5. So if I do sine of 30 on this calculator, I don't get 0.5. If I get something besides 0.5, I know I'm not in degree mode. On this calculator, I do shift menu to get set up. And I can tell by arrowing down here that my angle mode is radian. On some calculators, you have a mode button. Uh, if you can't figure this out with your calculators, then you're my student. Send me an email. We'll figure this out. Come see me. Something. But on this calculator, down in the lower left, it says DEG for degree. I'm going to press N1 to choose it. Now you can see that the highlight says degree. So I'm going to press execute to save that. Sign 30 degrees now tells me 0.5. So let's do our job. 22 divided by sine, oops, I didn't get that divide, didn't click on divide clearly. Well, let me go ahead and finish this and show you what if you do make a mistake and you multiply instead of divide. I'm going to get 13. Remember we said the hypotenuse should be bigger than 22? It's not. I know I made a mistake. So I'm going to enter it properly. 22 divided by sine 38 degrees. So now I get 35.7 and some change. I want this to be rounded to the nearest integer, so my answer is going to be 36. We can finish this off now. The answer is approximately 36 meters. Meters is already beside the answer box, so you're just going to put 36 in your answer box if this were your numbers.